So uh, you just you, you said something earlier that triggered everybody because you said a black woman. Everybody's like, ah, she's not black. She's not black. Okay. So I think. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, I, just, I, I just put that out there because to white people, she's a black woman. To you who want to get into the technical, I get all of that. To white people, if you are not white, you are black. That's that's <laughs> that's how they cut their yeah. line down the middle. You yeah. either us or you them. So the optics, that's like saying Obama's not black, right? He had a white mother, you know, this and that. Nah, nah. You either white or you're black in their eyes. And this is what I mean by who the people who have more voting power than black yeah. people in this country, right? White people in them rural places who go, I don't give a goddamn. I will <laughs> never. My, my grandfather will roll over in his goddamn grave. If I ever vote for a woman and a black woman at that, shit, I, I yeah. got, I'm, I'm voting Trump. You, you understand? That's what I mean optically, not uh, uh, lineage and all that shit. I don't want to well, get I, Well, I, I want to talk about it because uh, Candace Owens has been going on a tear trying to discover the truth of this woman's lineage like and she even said on twitter like she deserves a pulitzer prize because of the woman that was supposedly kamala's grandmother in the book she met somebody she they got a jamaican woman who knew the grandmother and she said that ain't the grandmother and the grandmother was fair-skinned and she looked irish and candace owens is has been on a complete tent now here's the thing Here's the thing. I don't know what it is in me now that I'm just skeptical of everything that gets really mainstream. Mm -hmm. So at first it felt like the Kamala Harris is not black thing was a very niche conversation that was happening underground, conscious community circles, ADO circles, FBA circles. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it was happening those places. It's happening now. I, I heard like it's happening now on just major platforms, and it just feels like it was planted there. Like I, I don't know. Like the idea was given to us, and then we're just kind of running with it because people are doing absolutely excellent research on it, right? So I won't take anything from that, but it just seems it, it's it's odd to me. It just well, like Coach just Wayne is. just said. Trump did that with Obama. Right, 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 right. Remember, I right. need to see your birth certificate, son. Right, like right. Like something ain't adding up here, right? And so right. what did it do? It did nothing, right? Right, so... He so, still... So this, what I'm trying to say is, yeah. what Candace is doing means nothing. That's... Okay, yes. So it feels like... As you you said this to me a month ago about empty burning empty calories on something. Yes, yes. that's what it feels like. You get it's what I'm saying? So it's just yeah, she has yeah. Locked onto something, or does she think truth matters in our society? Hmm. Really? If mm. truth really mattered in our society, Malcolm, we'd mm. be so far removed from where we are now, right? This ain't about truth. Trump ain't told the truth. Biden ain't tell the truth. The Bushes ain't tell the truth. Hillary ain't tell the truth. Obama didn't tell the truth. And neither will Kamala. But it doesn't matter because who is supposed to be in office will be in office. You're just sitting here waiting for the results of your destiny. Yeah, 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 yeah. However you want to look at it. Yeah. You're at the bottom of the totem pole mm -hmm. physically and you spiritually don't know you're at the top of the totem pole. And because you don't know that, you are here trodden in this physical reality, waiting for them to give you acceptance on what the next four years of your life is going to be. You're a yeah. moron. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. You're, you're a fucking moron. That. Right? My life does not, has nothing to do with any mm. of that. I'm going to mm. keep moving along as spirit tell me to. There's going to be war. There's going to be blackouts. There's going to be UFO. There's going to be famine. There's, there's going to be all of that. And when your physical time here expires, 
you clap your hands, you did a good job, and you moved yeah. the F on. Yeah. This is not a complicated journey here, right? Yeah. But if you sitting by your TV, oh, I'm mad at Trump. Oh, we can't have somebody who was just in there eight years ago and gas prices were great. Food was, you know, low. Rent was good. But, oh, he's going to tear the country down. Or you're going, oh, this Kamala, if she gets in, oh, she's just going to, she's been in three years already. Uh, so what? No, you're sitting there just, you're burning the empty calories that I spoke about. It is burning. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's a real right. thing. Doesn't mean we can't yeah. have a general conversation about yeah what the masses are doing. Yeah, yeah. Peace. If you like what you just saw and you want more, you want an entire podcast episode completely ad free and some extra uncensored exclusive content as well. You want to get in and join the Urban X membership where we have exclusive videos, exclusive courses, a community, and virtual meetups. And members also get access to our members only discount for our merch as well. So go to urbanx.nyc today. You won't regret it. Peace. Peace.